How's it going guys? Your old pal Bob Ganoush here once again. Welcome back. Today I want to talk about a brand new piece of equipment that I have. Uh, something that I am very excited to talk about and share with you guys. And being able to test it out over the last couple months, I feel very, comf uh, very comfortable and very confident uh, talking with about you guys and giving my thorough review of it. So here today I want to talk about my brand new sleeping pad, the Sea to Summit Etherlite XT insulated pad. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alright guys, so those of you who've been following my channel for a while know that in 2018 I completed my Appalachian Trail through hike uh, and I started off with the Big Agnes Axle uh, sleeping pad there. I really liked that pad, it was very comfortable, of course it was incredibly lightweight, however I actually ended up going through two of those. Uh, the first one after a few weeks sprung a leak on me, I couldn't locate where the leak was. So I contacted REI customer service, took care of the uh, exchange on the spot without a problem there. I uh, got a second pad, same exact pad, because I really did like it. Uh, unfortunately, same exact thing happened, sprung a second leak, and so therefore, you know, I was about a third of the way done with my hike, went through two sleeping pads at that point in time, and so finally I just made the decision, I need to get a different pad, something that I knew would be, of course, comfortable for me, give me a good night's sleep, but more importantly, be really durable to make sure I had a full night's sleep instead of waking up on the ground every couple hours. So after going through two Big Agnes Axle uh, sleeping pads, I decided to trade it out for the Sea to Summit uh, Ultralight Insulated Pad. Uh, this thing made it from basically Virginia, halfway through the Virginia, all the way in, all the way to Katahdin, and I still used it on a couple trips when I got back home. I really did like this pad. It is incredibly durable. Um, I had this right on the bottom of the shelters there, right on the shelter floor without any problems whatsoever. No problems with leaking, no problems at all. Sea to Summit makes some really, really great stuff. Now with this pad in particular, it is not the thickest pad <laughs> out of uh, some great options out there. It's only running about two inches thick. So especially for you side sleepers like myself, uh, not the most comfortable pad for a side sleeper because of that uh, that hip indentation there. However, again, still a great pad. I obviously still have it for a reason because I do enjoy it. It's great during winter as well, and again, because of that durability side of things. However, not the most comfortable pad. Coming back home from my through hike, I was looking for a new sleeping pad to provide a little bit more comfort, a little bit more of a long night's sleep um, to help with some of those aches and pains, especially around my hips and things like that. So, Sea to Summit, Ultralight Insulated, it's time to say goodbye to you. Who knows, maybe I'll do a giveaway, maybe I'll sell it. Who knows what I'm going to do with it. You never know, I have so much gear nowadays. But, it's time to say goodbye. And, of course, time to say hello to the Sea to Summit Etherlight XT Insulated Sleeping Pad. I know that's a mouthful. So, like I've said, I have had the opportunity to test this out over the last couple of months. And, I have been... Very, very impressed with it thus far, both with the level of comfort, level of warmth, and also the level of durability uh, and packing size, of course. Um, yeah, this is something that I am very, very happy about and very excited to share with you guys. So, that being said, let's go ahead and go over some of the specs, some of the stats for you guys, talk about the, the weight, the size, the price, so on and so forth. Before I go ahead, show you guys how to inflate this, go get into the nitty gritty and give you guys an up close and personal look. All right, so here is the, again, Etherlite XT insulated sleep bag by Sea to Summit. This is the regular version. It does also come in a large version. So some of the stats I got here for you typed up and ready to go. So regular version here for the weight, you're looking at only 15 ounces. Pretty nice and lightweight there for being less than a pound, and especially when you see how, how to the size how this inflates, it's very, very impressive. For the large version, you're looking at one pound four ounces. So pretty on the nice lightweight side, obviously there are lighter weight options, but for the comfort, for the durability, um, for the insulation value, it was something that I am very happy about thus far. Uh, insulation value, let's talk about that. Uh, this does come with a very healthy 3.8R value. Being that the fact that this inflates to be fairly thick, uh, it is nice where they did give it a fairly healthy R value to make up for some of that volume uh, that your body is going to have to warm up. It does have their patented Thermolite synthetic insulation combined with 
uh, one of the kind of like the mylar reflective uh, liner on into there as well. So you have synthetic insulation combined with that mylar reflective material to give you that nice added insulation. Uh, it's not just not the mylar, so you don't have that potato crunch sound going on. It is a very nice, uh, very nice quiet sleep, I will admit. And of course, with that nice healthy R value, I have had this pad down into the mid to low 40s and have and slept very, very comfortably, very nice and warm. Uh, I can't wait to test this out during the winter where I get some freezing temperatures where I can really, really put it through the ringer there. Of course, packing size is always going to be important for those of you who have some of the ultralight packs who need to save on some of the spacing as well. Packing size for the regular version here, you're looking at four and a half inches wide by nine and a half inches long uh, when it's fully inflated and it inflates to be four inches thick of loft there for you as well. For the large version, we are looking at four, um, four and three quarters inches thick by now 11 inches wide for the large version. Obviously, larger model, you're gonna have a larger packing size there for you, but still relatively speaking, very, very nice and small. Once everything is fully inflated, you have some really nice healthy dimensions, which makes this a very comfortable pad to sleep on there for you. Uh, the regular version here, you are looking at 21 and a half inches wide. Traditional regular size sleeping pads are only 20 inches wide. So to give you a little extra elbow room and shoulder room there, really nice and great. Still your traditional 72 inches long for the regular model. And like I said before, for the loft on the pad, a solid four inches of height on the loft on the pad there. So a very comfortable pad, especially for your side sleepers. For the large version here, you bump it up to now 25 inches wide uh, and 78 inches long while still remaining at that nice four inches of a uh, height there for you. Price point, of course, price point is always going to be something important, something that you always have to take a look at. This does run a little bit higher on the price point, but relatively speaking, really nothing too drastic. For the regular model here, you're at $199.95 from your local REI. Uh, for the large version, you're at $219.95 from your local REI. A little bit on the higher end of the price spectrum, but when you actually test this thing out and lay on this thing and even go take it out camping, uh, it is absolutely well worth the price point in, in my mind here. So, now, pulling this thing out, you'll notice obviously it does come with a nice stuff sack here for you. You probably have already noticed there are two draw cords and two entrances into the stuff sack here, and that is for a particular reason. The stuff sack itself is actually an integrated pump sack to help you inflate your sleeping pad. Now, on the R inside here, opening this thing up, this is going to give you access to your sleeping pad itself. Obviously, it rolls up to be nice and small, nice and compact, very easy to roll up and deflate there for you. But let's talk about the pump sack to start off with. See the Summit really, really went out of their way to give you something that is really nice and convenient and still maintaining something that is nice and lightweight and a small packing size. They actually integrated a pump sack into the stuff sack here uh, for rapid inflation and to help prevent you from, you know, getting condensation into the sleeping pad uh, to prevent against, you know, mold and mildew buildup. Now, that being said, there is a protective coating on the inside of the sleeping pad to prevent against mold and mildew buildup uh, with that condensation if you do blow directly into the pad itself. However, uh, because the pad <laughs> is four inches thick, it can definitely take some lung power. Uh, it's kind of a game to see how quickly you can inflate it before you pass out or how many times you pass out before you get it inflated. Uh, I don't like to play that game. I would rather get into camp, inflate my pad in just a matter of seconds without passing out um, and also you know, prevent against that mold and mildew buildup. So they created a really ingenious type of system here. On the gray side here, the other draw cord, this is where you're gonna open up your pump sack. As you can see, it opens up to give you something that is really nice and substantial. Uh, it actually gives you instructions right on the pump sack as well on how to use it and everything. Uh, I just love the fact that it's fully integrated. Uh, this should take you about three to four full pumps of this thing uh, to fully inflate your, feet, uh, your sleep pad. So really nice and quick, really nice and simple. And to be honest with you, after doing a lot of miles during the day, you're tired, you're exhausted, it might be after dark already. 
One of the last things you want to do is really have to sit there and slowly breathe into your sleep pad. You really just want to inflate it and go to bed. Uh, so I just love the fact that uh, Cedar Summit did this. Before I show you guys uh, how to inflate the pad itself, let me unroll it and show you guys the inflate deflate valve that uh, Cedar Summit gives to you. All right, so I have this thing fully unrolled here. I want to talk about the inflate deflate valve here for you real quick. So Cita Summit does something really great. Sorry if I'm getting up close, but I wanted to give you guys a closer perspective there. Uh, so again, Cita Summit does something really great with the fact that they create an all-in-one inflate deflate valve system. It's very nice and low profile, so you don't have to worry about snagging or anything in the middle of the night. As well as I love the fact that it's not one of those twist caps that kind of protrudes from the top, uh, as well as you're playing that game where you blow it up and you have to quickly try to shut it before you know too much air escapes to where then the pad is just super squishy. So I just love the fact that it's an all all in one integrated system. You can see here you have a tab over to the side and also one up on top. The one to the side is going to be for inflation. You open that up. You can see a uh, gasket on the inside there that helps the air uh, helps prevent the air from escaping uh, to aid in that inflation to really fine tune that pressure. As well as during the middle of the night, if you find that your pad is just either too hot uh, is too stiff on you, what you can do is actually push down on that little rubber gasket there and quickly release a few bursts of air to help soften it up and give you more comfortable sleep. Now, once you shut the whole thing. Uh, again, up on top is the secondary tab. This is for your deflation. Open that up and it deflates the entire pad in just a matter of seconds. Rapid deflation there for you. Uh, really, really nice and simple to use. And I especially like the fact that it is, the uh, tabs are crossed over in a way. So if I do even just grab and go with the inflate, I don't accidentally release the entire valve, which is very, very nice. So really smart thinking on their part. Obviously they have some great engineers over at Cedar Summit. They definitely uh, make sure they uh, you know, dot, uh, dot their I's and cross their T's before they release these things to the market. So okay, now let's go ahead and inflate it here for you guys so you can see what it's all about. Uh, the process of how you inflate the pad uh, how quickly it'll inflate there for you. And let me lay on this thing and give you guys a nice, nice up close and personal look. Okay guys, so I got this thing laid out. I got the pump sack ready to go. Let me show you guys how to inflate it and also how fast it actually inflates. It's fairly impressive. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up just the inflate valve. So you see the rubber gasket on the inside here. On the end of the pump sack, you have the little nozzle right there. You're simply just gonna click it right in. Boom, just like that, so it's actually secured to the pad. Take it, lift it up in front of you. You're gonna hold the orange, you're gonna hold the orange side up, blow a quick, uh, quick breath inside there so the bag expands, and then you're just gonna roll it over and you're gonna see the whole pad uh, start to inflate. So now I'm gonna go into fast forward mode here uh, and so that you guys don't have to be so bored watching me do this. So let's get to it. it there guys that is three pumps and this thing is pretty much fully inflated certainly if you want to you can always put a little bit more in there to top it off but as you can see this has some pretty good firmness already there so three full inflations with the pump sack this thing is ready to go okay so before I go ahead and lay down on this thing I want to give you guys a nice up close and personal look to see what it's all about as well as point to another quick feature uh, that see summit again came out with uh, that really, again, just changed things up. So let me uh, bring it in nice and close here for you so you can see what it's all about. So Cena Summit is gonna go with their regular air sprung cells into here with that nice honeycomb pattern. Uh, what I love about that in particular, it leaves you a little bit more lofted on top of the pad, as well as it really nicely uh, distributes your weight uh, across the pad evenly, rather than feeling like you're being pushed to one side or the other. Uh, as I said before, four inches of loft on the pad. That is incredible. Uh, especially as for your side sleepers who have to deal with hip indentation. For a thinner pad, you're consistently hitting the ground and you wake up with aches and pains in your hips, which I dealt with on my through hike a little bit. 
Uh, still, the insulated pad is very, very comfortable. Just saying this is much, much more. Uh, <laughs> so especially side sleepers with that extra thickness, not even coming anywhere near the ground. I even have tried to force my hip to touch the ground while lying on the pad and just will not happen. Uh, they really just have done a great job of engineering this thing, you know, especially product testing to make sure they have things dialed in correctly. Uh, as I pointed to with the inflate deflate valve up in the corner here, I wanted to point to one more thing across the top. If you notice very closely here, you kind of have these uh, four little uh, points that you have marked there. When you actually get the pad, you're of course going to get your plug kit for any leaks, but they're actually going to give you almost like this uh, micro Velcro uh, with 3M tape. Now what you do is you stick part of the Velcro onto your pad, and then you take the other side of the Velcro and actually stick it onto your uh, camp pillow, if you do carry a camp pillow. So what that does, uh, basically you just secure it and it keeps your pillow from shifting around or sliding around on your sleeping pad itself. It's also nice that you don't have to put your uh, pillow inside your sleeping bag hood, uh, which case then obviously there's room for uh, cold air to get into there. So I just love the fact that they came out with this, just that micro Velcro uh, where you secure onto the pad in your pillow and it just firmly stays in place throughout the night. Now, I have a very small pillow. I also don't have a Seat of Summit pillow, so I haven't had the opportunity to really put the uh, pillow lock on there just yet, but it is something that I definitely want to uh, try out and experience for myself there. Well, hi there, everybody. How are we doing today? So this is it right here. Uh, again, this is just such an incredibly comfortable sleeping pad. The fact that on only three pumps on the pump stack there, this thing has plenty of firmness to support my weight and be very, very comfortable is just incredibly impressive. Uh, for a size comparison for you guys there, uh, again, this is the regular model. I am standing at 5'10", 155 pounds. This is six feet long, 21 and a half inches wide, which gives me plenty of elbow room, plenty of shoulder room, plenty of head and uh, room at below my feet and above my head here. Just a very comfortable pad overall. Those spring-loaded cells, you can see it kind of lost my body a little bit more on top of the pad rather than just indenting and kind of caving and contouring. Just overall, just incredibly comfortable. Just, I cannot say enough about this. Even when I'm sitting here like this, my butt is not even touching the ground right now. That is absurd. I've, I've tested out so many pads at work. Uh, the fact that I work at REI, I get to take a look at these things all the time. I've owned lots of sleeping pads. And even still, when I'm sitting on the pad itself, just like I am right now, you know, changing, doing my stuff, I am still basically sitting on the ground. My butt is basically on the ground, getting cold, you know, feeling that damp cold ground kind of thing. And yet when I'm sitting here, I can feel I have a little bit of bounce. I, I'm just off the ground by like a little tiny bit. It's incredible. Just, I, I can't say enough about it. It's so incredible, so comfortable. Very durable, of course, the way Sea to Summit manufactures these things. I have no, I have full confidence that this thing will not run any leaks on me whatsoever. Just can't say enough. If you guys are looking for a new pad, definitely I recommend to check out the Sea to Summit Etherlite XT. Um, just, I just can't say enough about it. Sea to Summit, you guys have me as a client, especially for your sleeping systems moving forward from here. I already have tons of your stuff sacks on and so forth. But definitely sleep pads, you're going to be a regular, uh, you're going to be getting a regular customer from me there, Cedar Summit. Way to go on this one. So there you have it there, guys. Another great review here on my brand new sleep pad, the Cedar Summit Etherlight XT Insulated. Uh, definitely check it out if you have the opportunity. Definitely, uh, I highly recommend it if you're in the market for a new pad there. Ah, thank you guys so much for following along on another great gear review here. I have a couple more gear reviews, new pieces of equipment on the way there for you. And as well, I have my video from uh, hiking around the Adirondacks for a few days coming up for you guys here shortly. Thanks again for following along. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share the video if you so choose as well with other, uh, other friends and family also in the market for some new camping equipment. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Catch you guys in the next video. Pleasure as always. Baba Ganoush, out.